and we are underway to start what is a terrific Saturday filled with basketball and it's the Demon Deacons that start with the ball. Go inside to Efton Reed, backing down Miner, in trouble. Miner all over him, Reed finally puts it up and in to open the scoring. Cam Hildreth with the Isaac McNeely matchup. Keep your eye on number 11 in white. He's their best three-point shooter for Virginia. Ryan Dunn wiggles free. Brody steps out for three and knocks it down. Back down low the Reed for a double team. He has all four to start this game for the Demon Deacons. Until Reed can shape up to the ball. Is there a better name in the ACC no. than Boopy Miller? <laughs> no, Be there's not. Beekman getting the better of Boopy there. It's going to be a tough matchup for Rhodey because Cameron Hildreth is a downhill driver. Up to Reed who hammers it home. Afton Reed has all six for Wake. Can't give him any space. Shot clock down to five. McNeely in attack mode. Wiggles free and it rolls in for Isaac McNeely. Virginia has started this game. Back into Reed. He has all of Wake Forest points. Straight up in the post by Miner. He lost his shoe. And Miner with terrific defense. And Reed has to run back and play defense with one shoe on. Nobody's so, picked it up. It's still sitting there. So that means you go right to Miner, right? I would think. Instead, a McNeely long two, and he catches it. Part of that is pace driven, but it's also really good ball security, and it's what you emphasize every day in practice. Salas in attack mode, right to the rim for two. He has had 10 points or more, and every time he's touched the court for Wake Forest. Here's Jordan Miner trying to muscle his way in. Great defense by Reed. Carr had 12 rebounds the last time these two teams played. He was terrific on the inside. Hildreth. That's all ball. Goes flying into the crowd and ruled Virginia ball. Well, Virginia started this game perfect. Five for five from the floor, but they've missed their last three. Beekman trying to change it, and he does. Highest scoring team at ACC play at 80 points a game. Only has eight midway through the first half. Monsanto has to let it heave, and he hits it. Uh -oh. Nothing but the bottom of the net. He is so streaky. If he gets going, you know, Dante Harris has been involved in a couple of turnovers early. And look at the separation skills of Monsanto. He pulls it back and... You've been saying it all year. I the have. ACC champion will be decided by Wake Forest. You, you were saying that in November. I, because I saw Efton Reed coming along, and I know what Damari Monsanto can do. Well, Efton Reed is going to continue to stay aggressive because he doesn't have any fouls. And he's been marred by some foul trouble lately. And there's Cameron Hilders downhill. Hildreth beats the double team all the way to the rim. Blocked by Dunn. He leads the ACC in blocks, and that's why. Carr going against Dunn. Blocked again. Ryan Dunn all over it defensively right now. Need to find something offensively. Just one field goal in the last eight minutes and 30 seconds for Virginia. Dunn. That rolls in finally. Tap back out to him. This time drives in off the window and fires Virginia back in front. Deep three. Offensive rebound to Reed. And he catches in the second chance point. Shot clock down to five. Really good recovery on the back row by Virginia. Carr as the buzzer sounds, knocks it down. McNeely, the floater, got it. And Steve Forbes takes a timeout. And defense, McNeely trying to come alive for the Hoos. So she's smiling down on you, no doubt about that. Ryan Dunn finally takes the lid off for Virginia. Groves off the side of the backboard. Kick out, Beekman a three. Got it! 
Just how Tony Bennett drew it up at halftime. Has begun in the second half, Debbie. He's right on his average, Jay. He's got 14. This is a, a big staple of Wake Forest offense. They like the Iverson cut into a ball screen. This time, Efton Reed slips it into a one-on-one. -on -one. And look at Miner. D up. Reed still finds Miller, who ties it at 24. Tied at 24 points at a premium. Beekman. Back-to-back -back threes. Reese Beekman buries him. He's been long on all of his mm -hmm. baseline jumpers today. And they've all come from the corner. Beekman starting to take over. Reese Beekman on an 8-0 run himself. Reese Beekman is already one of the best right side of the back box score players, meaning assists, steals, rebounds. But when he adds scoring to his defensive player of the year job. And speaking of Dawn Staley, she scored a lot of points in this building, by the way, or actually the building next door. <laughs> they used to exist. A Virginia legend, her number hanging in the rafters here at JPJ. Going against Beekman, pull up, pop, got it. Hunter Salas fires Wake Forest back in front. McNeely step back, buries it. That was good defense, but good offense always beats good defense. Here's Hildreth. Five seconds on the shot clock. Hildreth trying to muscle his way in, put too much on it. And for Trey Murphy, been a really busy week for him. Earlier at Cary Academy, where he played his high school ball, he had his jersey retired. So it's an awesome week for him. And that is the 20th shot clock violation forced by Virginia this season. Mismatch. Now Dunn needs to keep it right here. Here comes Reed on the double. Off to Buchanan, who hammers it home. It'll be a foul on Harris. Watch this right here. The mismatch. Miller somehow keeps his dribble alive. The first basket for Wake Forest in four minutes. Buchanan. They've gone to the freshman on the last three possessions. And Buchanan's got the best recruiting story in all of college basketball. We'll tell you it in a minute. Beekman rocks the rim. The steal and the slam. Cavaliers largest lead of the game. Beekman's got Virginia up by six. Salas working against Groves. Squeezes it to Reed. Great pass. And Efton Reed delivers. Both teams playing with great passion. Dialed in defensively. Salas transition three. And Hunter Salas drills it. With a lot on the line for these two teams. Salas right to the rim, everything but the finish. There's that switch again that Beekman scored on. Takes advantage again, Reese Beekman. There's that one-on-one. -on -one. Efton Reed's had some success in this matchup. Fredericks in a three. Got it! He shoots the ball with such incredible confidence. So no surprise, another close competitive game today. McNeely, got it! What a great set by Tony Bennett. Monsanto calls his own number. Ryan Dunn, another block. He's got eight. A career high, Ryan Dunn. Brody deciding to take it himself. Can't hit it. Falls to Hildreth. Hildreth going coast to coast all the way to the rim for two. Timeout, Steve Forbes. Got to stay right here in a stance. Going one and one with Salas. Off the screen. To Dunn. Buchanan there to clean up the spill. Count it. Plus the foul. Beekman to make him give up the basketball. I like that. And he finds Dunn at the rim, and Buchanan cleans it up. Fredrickson, a three. Missed it. Rims out, no good. Falls to Fredrickson, off to Salas, a three. Got it! One-point game. 
do is make it a three-point lead, which is still a one-possession game. Right. Big three there by <laughs> Salas. Big offensive rebound. Here's Hildreth. Fading away. No good. Virginia survives. 